So I've recently been working on a few projects where I have to generate data when I actually store something within Laravel uh, again and again and again. And this is data that comes from data I'm already saving. Now that probably doesn't make sense. I'm going to give you a rough example and then we're going to look at how we can solve this in a few different ways. So let's say, for example, somewhere in a controller, and I'm just going to do this within the roots for now, uh, I was creating a forum topic. Well, obviously, when we are saving something out in Laravel, either using this or using the create method directly uh, on a model name, we would say something like title, and then we would assign this to whatever's been provided when we go ahead and create this. And then alongside a topic, we might also have something like a slug, now, you may know that you can use the str slug helper within Laravel to pass through exactly the same thing that you're trying to store. And then uh, in this case, since we have newed up a topic model on its own, we would go ahead and call save. So either way that you do this, whether you use topic create and then pass an array through, you would have to every time you created a topic, go ahead and pass this in manually calling str slug. So sometimes these things get a little bit annoying. This is a really simple example, but you may have other circumstances where you are wanting to save something from data that you already have. And that's what I meant by the explanation at the start of this video. So what we're going to be doing in this part, we're just going to set up really basic functionality to store a topic. We're going to look at the problem uh, once again, and then we're going to look at a few solutions to get around this. So the first thing I want to do is just come over to the projects I'm working in. I'm going to go ahead and make a migration here. Or in fact, what I could do is make a model. So create a topic model and also generate a migration alongside that. So let's just come over to this create topics table migration. Go ahead and store what we need. And we're going to keep this really, really simple just for the sake of this. So I'm going to go ahead and create a string here. I'm not going to relate this back to a user because we're just kind of uh, looking at this as an example. So let's go ahead and migrate this. I'm going to come over to EMV and just switch this over. I'm currently using Postgres. Uh, so I'm just going to switch over the port as well here too. And also the database name as well. Okay, so if we go and run our migration, so PHP Artisan migrate. Let's go over to the database, just check this out. And you can see that we have our table in there. And of course, because we generated that model, we also have this just here too. So over in roots and web, let's actually go ahead and store this and then we'll move on to look at a couple of solutions. So once again, you can either use topic model on its own and use the static create method. Or what I like to do is go ahead and create a new topic explicitly and then start to set properties on this. So let's say the title uh, was just again, hello there. And again, this would come from your request data. So if you're working within a controller, you would have your request object in here and you would obviously pass uh, this directly into here. But just for now, we'll go ahead and hard code it. And we would go ahead and like we've already seen, use str slug to pass in whatever a user has provided. And then we go ahead and we just save that out. So if we just prefix this with app, just so uh, we don't break anything, come over to the browser, give that a refresh. And over in the database, we see this here. So regardless of what you're doing, this could become uh, not a problem, but it's a lot more convenient when you have data like this that you need to hook into uh, eloquent model events. You may wish to do this, uh, you know, kind of get rid of this step altogether just to make your life a lot easier. And of course, there are countless reasons why you might want to do that. And once we've finished the uh, short series, we'll see that we can hook in any kind of uh, event that we want, whether it's assigning data, uh, firing a separate event within Laravel, sending an email, whatever you want to do, we're going to cover it. So let's jump over to the next part and take a look at the first solution of doing this, which will help you out later on.